¿Quieres ser mi amigo? I'm Dane. And I'm Mario. And we met around a year ago at our Jamaican friend's divorce party. There you go. Right? Right. I mean, we thought this would be an interesting idea to record a friendship blossom out of thin air. Yeah. And so far, it's been going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We hold up for a year. For a year. Yeah. Oh, and that friend mm -hmm. is going to be on this show yeah. later. So if you're watching this, don't be like, oh, okay, we're going to what? Stick till the end. You're going to meet our friend and you're actually going to know what her nationality we is. We are actually doing this. We're doing this. This okay. is so weird. Okay, wait. This is have, so crazy. I have so many things to say before we start. Okay. This is going to be a podcast just about me. Oh, okay. No, I'm it, joking. Is it going to be? It's going to no. be about that. You know how usually yeah. it's about you. This time it's about yeah. me. Yeah. Um, first, we have to explain yep. why we're doing this. Yeah. So we met actually speaking English like this I know this this so many people are gonna be like why are you guys even doing this podcast Can flip out yeah dude we met this like we this yeah. and this is our day-to-day -day. yeah this is not like we don't actually speak Spanish to each other that much so we decided hey let's give them a little glimpse yeah into our actual relationship yeah. this is this an is, English speaking relationship yeah, this is really opening the doors to our relationship because we are interacting with each other like this yeah this actually. is this is usually yeah. us yeah this is usually us why do we do it yeah. No, so you were you were born. Oh, oh my god. I was, Whoa, I was gonna, I was gonna just, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna rant of all the things yeah. that we talked about the podcast. Uh, so <laughs> you're actually from Peru. Yeah. But you were living in the States for a while. Lived in the US. Yeah. And I'm from Madrid. And I've I was lived here. But somehow, like I, I speak somehow English. Somehow you speak English, and it's not yeah. bad, not gonna lie. Thank you. So we met at a, our friends. Where is she from? We will see you later. Um, at a friend's divorce party. And yeah. We hit it off. She spoke English. And so we did. Mm -hmm. um, She's a friend of my girlfriend's. Yeah. And a they friend met. of mine. But yeah. yeah. And we didn't know each and other. And then your girlfriend, your, sorry, your wife is my friend's cousin from school. Yeah. That was so weird. It was like all, all of these ever, things. If we converged. ever shared that. On the podcast? Yeah, on the podcast. I don't think so. Yeah, we were running one day. No, sorry. We were running the day. The day. The, the one time the, we ran. The only day that we, yeah. that we ran together. And I remember that Anna told me, my wife, she was like, hey, why are you staying following my cousin that has like a pro a private profile with four followers. And yeah. it's like, how's that happening? And I ask you and you were at the same yeah. school. And I was like, how do you know her? <laughs> how do you know my friend? Yeah, <laughs> your friend. How do you know my friend? Yeah. And that's how it worked. But yeah, um, crazy, crazy situation. But we speak English to each other every day. And that's, yeah. and that's super weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can hear you. Is that your cat crying? Out yeah, that's my cat crying. Dude, that's breaking my heart. That's literally what wakes me up in the morning is I just hear my cat crying outside yeah. my door. And I'm like... Yeah, but what's the solution? Right. If I open the door, it's going to be worse because she's just going to come. She, maybe she comes here and then she will leave and then she mm -hmm. will meow again. Does it happen that she gets, like you have two cats. Mm -hmm. They get into a room because they were just fainting together, apparently. And you close the door because you need privacy. And then they, again, ask for they help. Want, they want to get out. They need to get out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that happens with this cat. That's just cats. Oh, before I wanted to say, nothing says there's a lot going on in my life. Just like a, wait, what was I going to say? Okay, let me tell you. <clears throat> Nothing says there's a lot going on in my life like a toaster in the bathroom. Oh, my God. That I is, walked into your bathroom before recording. That is my life game. And there was a toaster in there, dude. Can that's, we talk? That's my, Why is there a toaster my life, in your G. bathroom? That's my life, G. I was like, ah, uh, this guy's yeah. got a lot going on. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's got a lot going so on. So the story, long story short, I'm renovating the kitchen. I'm completely alone in this flat. It's almost done, by the way. It's Looks been good. two hectic weeks. It's been awful. Um, so what I... so. When you when you go into renovations, you you see the truly human being being that you are, and then I realize what are the things that I really need. So I have one plate, mm -hmm. bondo, uh, one uh, fork, one spoon, one knife, one glass, and that's everything that I have. And wait for and where where are you washing these things? So I am washing them in the bathroom because I don't uh. have a kitchen. So the same place, the same sink uh. that I. <laughs> That is That's so, so rough, dude. It this is so it is so rough because yeah. also I do not just eat and clean instantly. No, so no, I just let not. them simmer. You know, no, there. So let them soak. Of course, yeah. I hate I hate that. So right? I. It's just, yeah, that's my life now. So I I realized that I was living for a week without a toaster, mm. and all the bread, hack, all the bread that I have is frozen. So what we do is we just cut it, put it into uh, uh, freezing bags, and put it in the in the freezer, mm -hmm. and then you can just take one out. Just put it in the toaster, and in two minutes, it looks like it's brand new. Not gonna lie, fresh. I knew this hack. Is it a hack when, like, a lot, a lot of people know? Yeah, but this is really amazing. Like, I, lo I love it. It's just, it tastes so good. How, it's so convenient. On a scale from one to ten, how depressed do you get when you walk into your bathroom and you have dishes soaking in the sink? No, it's awful. 
Yeah, it makes me think about I'm just like, all I'm, the wrong decisions that I've done in my, my life. Calling my therapist. Yeah, 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 it is terrible. But also I don't have a place to do it. Because like, where oh. would I do it? Is it say like, if you shower, if your shower, if your toaster is plugged in and you're showering and like, like you know, those long hot showers where all the yeah. steam builds up in your bathroom? I do not know because I always sh shower oh, with yeah, cold true. water because I'm a warrior. Because you're a psycho. Yeah, because I'm built different. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Dude, there's so many gags that I can do now in the podcast because yeah. it's all of the gags that I know. Everything. Also, it's weird. Like, I speak English with you, mm -hmm. sometimes with Anna. She's from the States. Um, but... Every single bit of content that I consume is just from the States or the UK. It's mm -hmm. all in English. Everything, everything, everything. And like, I know so many references. I, I need to share them and I can't on our podcast. It's, but that, that happens to me as well. Like most of our jokes are inside jokes from stuff we've seen. Yeah. In English speaking context. So every time that we hit record, it's like, now do what do we do? Dude, the first time, like now it's different. But the first time we started, when we like the first few episodes, like we would hit play and I'm like, what am I going to say to this guy? But it makes no sense. To me, like you are Peruvian, you yeah, have but, mom but and dad. You just talk, yeah. and sp you just speak Spanish perfectly. Like, how thank, would it be different? Because, like, for me, it's different. Mm -hmm. Like, I I speak a lot of English, but it's not the same. I don't have it ingrained in my mm -hmm. in, in, in me. Yeah, I feel like slightly a different person in this language. Do you feel like I'm different in languages? So different. Like already, it's been seven minutes. It has nothing to do. Like, this is the thing that I know. Interesting. You know, of course, yeah, because you. The energy is different. Okay. I'm not saying about the mm -hmm. voice and mm -hmm. it like, I don't know. It just feels different. I fuck with you more in English. Not like I like you more. Hey, I, mean, hey, like, hey, I, I mess with you more in <laughs> English. Like when we're on our day to day, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, of course. But yeah. also it's like the energy that, that you bring into the podcast is mm -hmm. different. Yeah. Interesting. It is interesting. Are we yeah. going to do a podcast in English now, dude? I mean, yeah, it just sucks if you're listening to this. This is, I mean, yeah. this is a I hope, it's a bonus episode that they're getting. It's but okay. I hope you don't like this. Because then you're going to get really disappointed. Oh, yeah, really this is like the first and last time. This is, this is going to get really disappointing for you, yeah. Paul. I'm just, yeah. just going to... So I gonna loved it. You know. Yeah, it fucked. Could you imagine? Like, I know we have listeners from the UK and, and the States, but I guess they're mostly Spanish people that are living there. Or like right. Spanish-speaking people. Um, Maybe people learning Spanish. Pff, wow, this is the worst podcast. Yeah, it's going to be like, we on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we on and, yeah. My, and me <laughs> just speeding on, <laughs> speeding up on every sentence that I do. Just like some English guy being like, oh, yeah, we on. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. like that one? Oh, we're on. Yeah, yeah. we're on. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We're on. Yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine people listening in this and trying to learn? Oh man, I wish I, I. I sometimes just wish I was like fully London guy. Like I wish I had that London Why would accent. You? I'm like Drake. I just wish I were from London. <laughs> Why would you? I don't know because I think it's just so. What? It's so cool, dude. I don't know. Cool, isn't it? I have friends that like. I mean, I have friends that speak like pretty London, but not like fully London. Like because they're out of London now. They don't. You live just in want London. to say. That's wick in it and like feel no, from it. like saying fam. You can say fam. You can say I can't say fam, dude. Why not? Nah. So if Stormzy nah. says it, everyone can. Yeah, me and Stormzy just Yeah, you're the same. We're the you're same guy, the same. dude. Yo, you remember when we wanted to watch like to see him live, Stormzy live, and then he, and then canceled, he canceled on fucking Mad Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was depressing. Uh, I was low-key kind of psyched. I was really psyched because that was a crazy day. It was Jamie Collum and then it was Stormzy. Yeah. So it was just like No, no, no I mean it, I mean I'm kinda of psyched that he canceled. What do you mean? I don't know if I had the energy for that mosh pit. Because I, I couldn't have been there and not what been in the mosh pit. What do you mean? Yeah. That was the UK day, by the way. Because it was Jamie Collum. It was Tom C. It was, what was the other guy that you wanted to see that also canceled? Uh, Parcels. No, par uh, Parcels I watched. No. I didn't watch, but they're from Australia. Um, oh, yeah. There was someone, right? Yeah. Oh, Tom Mish. Yeah. So it's just like the, the UK mad cool day. Yeah. We were so excited. Yeah. And we were like, is this the visa issues? Like, what happened? But then it's like, but Jamie Collum got in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe he was like touring Spain already. He was already here. You know, no, he said, he strikes me like a guy who's like, no, I was just in Malaga, you know, hanging out. <laughs> of course, in Marbella. Playing some good. No, Marbella. I can't. No, no Marbella. Why not? You, are you a Marbella fan? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not like a hater of Spanish like places. Oh, what? what? No? No. In, in our friendship, really. you have for sure like shat on some random Spanish places. Yeah, being, but like, it's a joke, but Marbella? Place. It's not even Spain. Dude, Marbella fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Not, I'm, okay, wait. It's not even Spain. It's true. Yeah. Ma why would you get but angry at Whenever I tell people like, oh, dude, I, I can't stand like the Marbella life. People are always like, no, but there are different types of Marbella. You've only been to the one that you don't like. And but I'm like, I guess. Yeah, yeah I've been there oh, a few I've times. Never, I've never been there. You've never been a few times? No. Why would I? Because you've... <laughs> if I want to... <laughs> a random Spanish guy who's yeah. lived here for a long time. Yeah. The only, the only one there? I'm not a fan. It's like a weird little microcosm of... It is such a microcosm. I it know sucks ass. I know the mom of, of a friend of mine, uh, they're from the UK and she's been living in Marbella for I would say comfortably twenty years. Get out of my face with that. 
she's been living 20 years. Couldn't she's pay like, me. Couldn't pay me to live 20 years. I, I guess she's 70, uh, the mom I mean, and she's 70. She's been living there for 20 years. I'm serious. She speaks cero Spanish. Cero. Cero Spanish. Cero. But like cero is zero. I yeah. meet her like <laughs> once. A, yeah, I, I know. Uh, but I, I, I meet her once a year more or less and we talk and she's a wonderful lady. She's amazing. And then when I, when I talk to her, it, it's just like, I can wrap my head around it. It's just like, oh yeah, I, I do not need it. I'm like, what do you mean? It's you don't true. need I mean, it. It's like, it's true no, like, it's my all, my, like, all of my friends are from the UK. Everyone speaks English perfectly. Yeah. And like, I, I, I've but people never like, that. It's like people that don't want to leave the UK, but want the good weather. They just go to Marbella and then they live there. Yeah, but or like it, other, you but know. But isn't like, it amazing that we just, I mean, I'm, I have weird feelings about it. Cause like, I love the decentralized idea of a world where you, you can live everywhere. And I love, that's, that's why I speak English. Cause I just love it. Mm -hmm. I was, I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to travel enough to travel a lot, sorry. I've been living abroad. I've met people from all around the, the globe and I love that I could just speak with them mm -hmm. perfectly. I didn't have any problem. That, that was such a human connection moment that I love. But then if you live in my fucking country for 20 years, in my Theo, country, in my country, que ponen tu DNA? Yo soy español. But if you come and you live for 20 years, I'm not expecting you to be a citizen. I do not care. I couldn't give a no, fuck. No. But the fact that you don't know. But hold a conversation? Not even that, like like una barra de pan. You can't fucking ask for bread at a place. No, that's rough, dude. That is rough. That that's is incredible. Rough. Yeah, maybe there's the age barrier there in the middle as well. She's 70. I don't know. But also it's well, not she wasn't 70 but, when she moved here. True. And also it's not Chinese. It's not that it's yeah, a different, yeah. like you yeah. you cannot even read it. I feel like I feel like people in the UK, like, do they take Spanish? Like a lot of them take Spanish in high school. I guess the same as in the States, which is like shitty, yeah. right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, dude, I have a very weird relationship you, with the States. Why? But do you take Spanish lessons when you were in the States living? No. How long did you I, live English, there? I took English lessons. I imagine, so English, yeah, of course. English is a second language. No, when you were living in the States, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. English was the second language? As a, as a second language, ESL, ESL. So like, and what I, was the I, first one? No, it's like for teaching English to kids who English isn't their first language. So it's called English as a second language. So like you move to the US, you don't speak any English. So while you're in you school, did. you're or in remedial you? class. I didn't speak any English. Oh, I thought you did already. No, no, no. I moved oh. there when I was five and I know how to say hello. Oh, okay. And then like I, they put me in school and like with extra English classes and stuff. And when you're five, you just learn everything, you know, because you're five. Yeah. So then we left when I was 10. But then since then, we've always just like, well, like we said, like everything I consume is in English usually, but I went to English speaking schools mm -hmm. even outside of the US. So that's why it's so weird because like I went to an international school here. So like... It's almost like for, for so long, it was like my brain was like split between most of my friendships are in English, even with Spanish people, like the same as you. Like we met in a context where I met a bunch of different people. Some are Spanish, some are Australian, some are Dutch, some are whatever. And we all speak English. So mm -hmm. then like suddenly you leave school and I'm talking to my friend Miguel mm -hmm. in, in English and people are like, like, what are you, what are you doing? That's so stupid. And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it's stupid. Early yeah. on, I was like, oh yeah, I guess it's, mm -hmm. it's like self-conscious about it. But then like eventually you just get so used to it yeah. that like for me, my brain is kind of split down the middle between English and Spanish. And sometimes it mixes, sometimes it, I don't know, I have a weird, weird and then Nati has the same thing, but then she also has Portuguese thrown in there. Yeah. So she'll, she'll say something in, in, in Spanish that maybe she's translating from English, mm -hmm. but she's using a Portuguese thing in there instead of the Spanish one. Yeah. And it's just like, it can be a mind fuck. Yeah, of but, course. Something know. that I don't get is how come you speak English with your brother? That's that's something we that speak I really both. don't get. We speak both. You speak a lot 90, of it. Ninety percent English, because like I get it with English. me. We met like this, and like yeah. with someone that you met when you were in your twenties or your thirties. Of course, it makes sense. But when mm -hmm. I mean, when you were born, he was already there. Yes. Uh, and you like your mom speaks Spanish to you. Your dad did as well. I guess Spanish was the, the primary language that you spoke um, at home. I guess. Yeah, yeah. We always spoke Spanish at home. Um, but I guess because he also has this kind of division in his brain. Mm -hmm. We jump back and forth because sometimes we, we do speak Spanish to each other and it's like fully Peruvian Spanish. It's yeah. like not even, not Spanish Spanish, which like maybe with you, I have a Spanish Spanish side. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's just because like, again, we consume everything, yeah, everything in English. So, but we do speak a lot of Spanish as well. Like, yeah. Never seen you. Never seen, you've never seen us speak Spanish? No. It's just, I mean, I, I have, we're but mad not at each other. When we're mad at each other, I think we, we, yeah, yell, at each, we yell at each other in Spanish yeah. for sure. Sure. I remember when I went to Ikea with you. Yes. 
Early, Nadi. early, early on. Early yeah, days. your girlfriend, yeah. your mom and your dad. Yeah. And I was there. Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Just weird and situations. Then, <laughs> dude, like, I, I, I've i known you in English. Then I get, I, I got to know you in Spanish mm -hmm. doing the episode. And I realized that, the, like, how how weird it was for you, like, to record content in another language. Yeah. Um, also, like, this podcast, is, I, I guess it's really complicated to, to do in another language because there's not a real script. So everything has to be, there's sort of this funniness going around. We're not a comedy podcast, but mm -hmm. it's trying to be entertaining. So I guess that is also a big factor. But then I went to Ikea and your mom and your dad from Peru, both of them, right? Mm -hmm. From Peru, spoke to you in Spanish. And then you were from fucking El Barrio de, <laughs> de fucking Lima. Y a ver. You were one of them. And then weón mm -hmm. was one of every three words that you say. And like, it was just so weird. Um, like you yeah, spoke dude. completely different. The sentences were also different. It was like, are you doing like German, Spanish, like changing the verbs? Changing Bro, it's like everything? it's like we talked about early on. I'm like, and and it, it wasn't even a joke. It's like low key have had always like a personality crisis, like internal crisis, like not crisis. Crisis is a strong word, but like there's always been this kind of turmoil of like wh which of my identities yeah. is my identity. And it's crazy that language will do that to you. Like, yeah. you know who you are, your values don't change, your motivations don't change, like your friendships, your emp emp your emp you have empathy, you whatever. But then like the language, like the framework in which you see the world changes slightly or the environment yeah. changes slightly. And then you're like, oh my God, who am I? So I've had that since I was five, six years old. Mm -hmm. And that like, it, like low key bunch of insecurities growing up, but it made me kind of feel like I needed to belong to a group or something. And now later in my life, I've just been like, oh, so happy I don't belong. I don't want to belong to yeah. like your group or be a part of, you know what I mean? But like, I think that was a huge, a huge aspect of my life growing up in high school, in high school, elementary school, whatever. Everyone is always like insecure, right? Yeah. So I think mine was like, I don't really fit in with the Peruvian kids that I imagine is like, I get to the US, I'm some Peruvian guy in my class, but there was other people. So it was cool. I go back to Peru And I'm like, oh, I don't fit in with the with the Peruvian guys. Mm -hmm. Then I go to Spain and I'm like, oh, I don't fit in with the Spanish guys. And then I went to an international school and I was like, oh, this is actually OK. Good. You guys all have like kind of like identity crises as well. Crises, yeah. plural of crisis, crises. Wow. You all have identity crises, too. Like this is OK. This feels good. I didn't know. And then now I'm just like now it's like Beretha. like I'll, I'll hear someone in the I'll see I'll feel someone in the table next to me and a couple of friends be looking at us like, what are they What do you, why are they I mean, speaking always, like this and it, switching to both or whatever? And I'm like, dude, it's not worth your time. Don't worry. Trust me. It's not worth it, your time. It always happens with us. Oh, like everywhere they sure. go. Mm -hmm. When I brought you to the, the um, rodaje, how do you say rodaje? The shooting? Uh, the, the, yeah. No, no there's no, another the word. Shooting. Uh, the shoot. There's something else. The, um, the set? Yeah, that's right. When I brought you to the set of Los Protegidos, that it was, of course, like you and mm -hmm. I speaking English and it was like, What are, you guys, like, what are you guys what, doing? Yeah, yeah. When we're to the doctor appointment yeah. together, it was True. It's such a big thing. But also it is it is crazy and weird how related the the language that you speak is it's related, um, of course, <laughs> double it. <laughs> it's related to the way that you communicate and the way that you express yourself. Mm -hmm. And that conversation we've we've had it recently, Anne and I, my wife and I, because we want the kids to speak English and they will. But also we were thinking about like how are we gonna speak between us and how are we going to talk to the kids? Mm. Like, are we choosing Spanish? Of course, my grand, their grandpa is going to talk to them in Spanish because it's the only, the only language that he knows. But, but Anna was saying a very valid point that was, but this is not the me that, this is not me when I speak English. Because like she lived there and she can speak mm -hmm. English perfectly way better than I do. But that English comes from a place and a moment when she was in high school, when she was living some, something was going on in her life. Mm -hmm. And me, I don't see that, of course, because it's always been Spanish. And then it was like a plus, like a bonus. But I can it's now get why um, it is so related. It's super weird. Mm -hmm. It's super weird, dude. Like, I feel like in English, my thoughts are much more nuanced. And the points that I have are like, I don't want to say more intelligent points than in Spanish. I, I got I, to say, I agree with you. Talking yeah. about you, not yeah. not about me, but about mm -hmm. you, yeah. Because we've always talked in the, like, always, we, we just speak English, mm -hmm. basically. Like, I gotta say, to be honest, this is, like, a 95% of the way that we speak. But yeah. since it's we an speak, English We speak a little Spanish. We right. speak a little bit more Spanish, mm -hmm. but since it's an English episode. Yeah. Like, but, like, we'll, we'll switch, like, halfway. Like, oh, but that happens in my life. Like, if I know you speak both languages, 
I am always going to use both languages because it it's faster well, for my brain. And also it's easier because there are some things, some nuances and some sentences that just work better in yeah. one language. Oh, That's like, how it is. I, I say aprovech. <laughs> aprovech. Yeah, see. we got to let's, let's, let's aprovech. I'm not going to say, oh yeah, let's take advantage of that situation. No. No, I'm like, dude, let's aprovech. Uh, tu, tu. <laughs> dude, let's aprovech and then we just yeah, go. Of course. Yeah. But it makes sense. You say a lot of esque. Yeah. Esque, esque it's so but convenient. Me, me and my group of friends in English, we use that. Of course. And mazo, you use mazo a, yeah, a lot. But those are like little words, whatever. What, what was I saying? Uh, uh, the nuances, Anna, yeah. Anna, yeah. So, so, I don't know about me. Yeah, yeah so every time that we talk about like the podcast, where are we going, things, ideas, um, we always do it in English. And it's so much precise. Like everything that you say has something else to it. It's not just the words. Mm -hmm. And I can see it. Am I and, smarter in English? I think I'm... Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say. But then we, Beef! But then we record and it's like... Oh shit! What happened yeah. to my intelligent guy? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, uh, it's because I, I I get by a lot um, on like with you a lot where we're like, uh, I'm like you you know what I mean, and you're yeah. like, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even need to communicate the thing. Yeah, because you, you you know what I'm saying. But then it's a podcast, and you have to. Yeah, but then we're actually then I actually have to like link thoughts together and have like a coherent train of thought, and I'm like, yeah, oh, that, it's it's hard. Yeah, which is kind of interesting, right? Yeah, so having a podcast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you I mean, it works. It, it works. works. Yeah. So speaking of podcasts, let's start a new podcast. What? How? I don't know. About notarios? <laughs> hey, notaries? Yeah. No. But not knowing anything about notarios? You know, I did a podcast in English once. Wh what? Yeah. You didn't know. I've, I've done multiple things in my life. That yeah. I didn't know about? Of course. I'm so interesting. Why are you holding out, dude? Why so are you... I, I, I was working for a company from the Bay Area that was a neuroscience company. Did I talk to you about it? Oh, that sports one. Yeah. But it wasn't yeah. really sport. It was it, it was called Halo Sport. Okay. Um, so what it was, it was a helmet, sort of. Like, it was headset. Like, a pair of headset that you would put on. And via micro electric signals to your brain. You lost me, dude. <laughs> but it's amazing. It would <laughs> stimulate uh, the neurocortex. That is the part of the brain that learns muscle memory and that retains uh, the things that you do with your body. So I saw that when they were barely starting. And I thought... Are you just keeping up with like startups from the Bay Area? Like about yeah, like that, that's me. I don't know. I don't know how, <laughs> how it came out to me. But I looked at it and, and they were really talking like they, they were working with the NBA teams and they were working with athletes, like professional ski um ski players, ski, skiers. Skiers. Yeah. Um and I thought we musicians are athletes. Like I need like muscle memory. That's oh for sure. I need that and I need to learn faster. Yeah. Would it work? So I wrote to them and they sent me a pair and I started working with them and it was amazing and it worked and it was- It, wor it worked? It worked amazingly. Why isn't this like- So what happened is it, it worked amazingly and I did a video, it went super viral of me learning two pieces, one without the headset and one with the headset that were equal like difficulty, let's say. The video is amazing. It's bad that I said it because I did it. Hey, but hey, like, hey, But hey. it's fucking amazing because like amazing. the experiment is really good. Like I did exactly the same trying to learn a piece that was- equally difficult and and the results were amazing so we kept working and then i told them how how can i how can i help you like i want to help you out and yeah. they said why don't you do a podcast and what i did is i did a, a season of a podcast it was 10 episodes with 10 different musicians and i would like lead, uh, let them the uh, borrow my my when, headset okay. and they would do five experiments technique speed memory um, hmm. and two more things that I forgot. And the results were amazing, but like amazing. And then we will talk about this. It, were, it went great. It had an amazing rating. And then f fucking COVID came to you. And everyone got fired and- The company just went under? Yeah, it went under and it got dissolved and everyone lost their jobs. But, and now, like it's been, a, it's been a minute now. Yeah, but the thing is that they lost all the money. They lost all the sponsors. Well, yeah, they but were, this seems like an idea that maybe, hey, are we, are we starting a business right now, dude? I mean, no, the thing is that they have, a, it's, it's not like proprietary technology, exactly. no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, and it's okay. really complicated. Like everyone that I was yeah. talking to, also that that's such an just incredible- It's like shocking, for just tasers shocking people like while they're practicing. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it, and, but also it made me feel so this um, imposter, you know, feeling that I was like talking to mm -hmm. people from the Bay Area, from neuroscientists, and they were talking to me. I was in my twenties in Berlin, fucking lost. And I'm like, dude, 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 I can play Bach with this and this fucking works. You know what happened? Like they, they wouldn't produce as many headsets as people would ask for and buy for. 
music school conservatories, yeah. everyone was buying them and they didn't even consider music because they didn't know. They yeah. said, hey, sports is the big deal. Yeah. And I made music the big deal of that company. Yeah. And then it was like, you enter Halo Sports and it was like sports and then music. Oh, like arguably just like a much better, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like off the top of my head, like there's so many different applications. But the thing is that it, they would help like runners in the 100 meter run, like they would help them with three um, tenths of a second. You know, that's, an improvement, which is incredible. I'm thinking like if you're like a surgeon and you're learning things yeah. like everything. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And, and I was, if you're like sewing, any anything yeah. you want. Yeah, but in music, it was like yeah. when you're in such an elite level, every advantage that you get oh, is just amazing. So it was, yeah. it was, it was really great. I still have this headset, but the app doesn't work anymore because like everyone oh. got fired. Yeah, but it worked, and I, I. T- Till this day, I get messages from a lot of people just to asking. Till this day. Yeah, till this day. To this day. Uh, I get messages from people asking like, is this real? Because it looks fake. Yeah. I would I would put it on to do unproductive things. I had a friend uh, who got um, prescribed Adderall because he has ADHD. Mm-hmm. And I what was like. What does he do? Uh, from what I understand, if you have issues with focus, it makes you focus. But if you don't have issues with focus, I think it acts differently on your brain. Not sure, but I think that's what it is. It's kind of like a hyper focus drug. But, uh, but is it? I don't know why I know the word Adderall. Yeah, I know it. I, I know I it. Mean, as, a lot of people take it, like in university, and I mean, people. A lot of people just take it. But like, but is it like a drug? Like people get drug like Molly or something like that. I mean, it's just not? a pill that you take. Yeah, I know. I know. I know how. Oh, I think, works. I think people for sure use it re- recreationally. That's what I meant. Yeah. So I was like, um, because he was at this time he was at university and he was writing his he was doing his masters or something, and he's trying to put together his thesis and he's like, man, I can't do it, whatever. Oh, well, the doctor um, prescribed me some Adderall. Let's try it out. And then I write to him later and I'm like, how are you doing? He's like, oh man, incredible. I've spent the last five hours watching The Office. <laughs> Just hyper focused, yeah. but on a TV show. Yeah, just like I really don't want to write this. I feel like that's what. But that's the thing about this this headset and this technology is that that didn't like it would just help with muscle things. You know, like mm-hmm. if you were just watching something that you're not learning anything. It's not that it made you. So the thing about the, the issue with the piano, it was really weird because I did the, the experiment and I played everything through, no mistakes by heart with just like one hour of practice in, within five days. And it felt super weird because I knew that I I was going to like fucked up. I knew while while I was playing, but I didn't. So it was this weird correlation of like muscle memory taking over. Exactly. Yeah. That's where it really hits. That's why people would use it just for the, for the start of the sprint, not the actual sprinting, but just the way the muscles have to move in the first 10 meters for them to go for a world. When you're training for your marathon next year. Oh, wait, sorry. No, this is. This, this technology doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but why would I train? Yeah, yeah. True. Why would I train? If you can just do it without trying. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. You grind just, your teeth? Yeah. I'm Now I uh, now, now I do. When I'm I, stressed, yeah. Dude, we're so different. I have the opposite problem. I'm just like this guy with like the lax jaw. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, and when I open. sleep, yeah, when I sleep, it just opens. You and should, I wake up and I'm just like, dude, my mouth is so dry. You know dry. what you should do? You should tape it. Yeah. I have a thing. Dude, this is so stupid. I have a thing. To wrap around my head, like a specially made thing that uh-huh. I got from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, and it looks kind of like the rugby slash water polo yeah. vibes. And it's a thing that I that I have used. I've used it a few times. Um, and it keeps your mouth, your jaw like yeah. together. But, it keeps but your it, mouth shut. But there are way easier things to, to put on. Yeah. There's just tape, like actual tape that people use. But like yeah. a lot of people, because like it's so... Like the the quality of the, of your sleep depends so much on yeah. the way that you're breathing. breathing, of course. And if you breathe through your mouth, it's so fucked up. The way yeah. the the brain um, oxygenates. Yeah, everything. Um, and people just tape it. They just it's a tape that you put on. I think I'm gonna start doing that. But it's a really good idea. So what they say is not, of course, like if you try to open your mouth, you do. But subconsciously, when you're sleeping, you, there's yeah. something that you cannot open. If there's so, resistance there, exa- your body's like, ah. Exactly. So th- then you, you just don't do it. I'm actually going to try but it. But it's super convenient. You <laughs> think we should just invite someone to the podcast that reunited us for the very first time oh, 52 let's weeks do it. ago? You think we should meet? I think we should meet. I think we should let the let our listeners know wow. where where she's from and, and how this podcast thing. started. Every episode, 52 weeks, we said a different... And this time I was like, our Jamaican friend. Yeah, whatever. Will he or she be Jamaican? Have we said if it's a he or she? Yeah, porque oh. es nuestra amiga. Nuestra amiga. There's no Is way Is she of... Jamaican? <laughs> we'll never we know. We will see. So oh, we'll please... never know, but we will. Welcome. Yeah. Hey. So this is our friend. This is the yeah. this is this is who this she is. is. The friend. How are you doing, Valerie? I'm great. Thank you How so you much for, for joining us. Thanks for having me. No, of course. Yeah. <laughs> who else would you have? Who else would? <laughs> 
I mean, you're the the originator. Yeah, the OG, the, the OG the one. Yeah, the one, Who the made chosen this one. Happen. Yeah. yeah, for you guys, like this is Pallavi. Without her, we would have never met. Exactly. Well, that and is without true. without Nati as well. Like the you and Nati right. combination right. made it possible for us to meet. Yeah. Right. So one million dollar question, Pallavi, where are you from? Where are you from? <sighs> well. Oh. <laughs> oh no! It's one of these. Oh, no, it's one oh, of these. No. Hey. <laughs> the world. Oh, Just kidding. we're gonna cut <laughs> I'm that. I'm Indian, but mm-hmm. born and raised in the states. Okay, amazing. So I feel like you've covered some of that. Yeah. In we, have we said, have we said like Indian before? We said Indian. We said. Did you? How we said Estadounidense? Like people get yeah. upset yeah. when we say American. People are like, oh. "I'm from Ecuador. I'm from America too." We're like, you know, yeah, but. No, but yeah, know, but in English okay. it's not. You, you know yeah. what I mean. You say the states. You say America. We say the states or America. Yeah. 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 yeah, we do as well. So de los estados, tío. How did everything happen? So you met Nati, Nati yeah. and Dane were together, of course, and yeah. then you hosted a party, and that's how we met. But how do you meet Nati? So Nati and I met um, through our therapist. We mm-hmm. had the same psychologist, and we met through like a group therapy workshop thing, and we pretty much bonded over our mutual love of Harry Potter. That's pretty much how we became friends. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was like a very Sounds quick interesting to me. Like, conversation. We're like, oh, okay, cool. We'll get along. <laughs> yeah, of course. And then I had a couple parties at my house. Yeah. I think it was last year. Like, I had like three parties. And Look at you. Dang. And like, you guys Thank were there you. at Thank all you of them. for having yeah. parties. And yeah. Like, I love when my friends become friends with each other. Like, it just makes me so happy. So yeah. I was just so happy that you guys bonded and clicked. And did, like, you, we, did you think we were going to, like... No, I had like, no idea. You guys are complete, like, completely from different worlds. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Right? Like, you're my music friend, and I'm you're my your, non-music I, friend. I'm just, like, your friend. Even though <laughs> you are. Friend, boyfriend, boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> you're hard no, but, like, you actually are also a musician, and I didn't know that, what? right? Let's go with that. Shush, you shut what? up, dude. No, look, we're going with that. This is the narrative that are we're going you with now? from now on. Are you now? This is the narrative. Oh, this is the personality <laughs> change. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not fine. Nati, Nati also. Dude, I'm a musician. Mario, a musician? Mario's a straight <laughs> hater. Nati's dude. a musician? It's because for Mario, if you're not, like, a musician guy, then, like, you're not a musician. I didn't know that Nati sings. Oh, my God. Nati sings so beautifully. Nati sings. She plays guitar. She, like, composes. She does And she loves, and that's also how she and I bonded, because she loves music. and She does. She's telling me how much she loves music and loves classical music as well, and so she was super excited that I'm a musician, and so Question, bonded over a lot of things <laughs> in the party did you see sparkling did you see something happening between dane and i Ooh, i uh, think was there you a hint? Got, i i can't remember exactly but i think you guys bonded first over like your love of mma yeah is that right yeah because yeah, we're guys just fucking straight <laughs> yeah. men dude. this is men dude yeah. no but also nati's like really nati's obsessed with it huge into yeah it. but i remember that or maybe we were... you and nati were talking about it you guys were like also oh my god! Yeah, no, I remember that the party was was ending, and there was just like six of us there. And it was, yeah, it was a small part. My parties are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, like from the two hundred people in, that were invited, an intimate the, gathering. Yeah, there were only eight of us left, and yeah. it's like started with fourteen. Eighty of us. Yeah. <laughs> there was just eighty of us, <laughs> and then they, we, we were in a part just by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> just by ourselves, and I remember talking about MMA, and then yeah. like NBA maybe as well. Just like, no, sports, just guys bonding guys over sports. Bond, no, yeah. no, it wasn't because like I remember that MMA. No, it was specifically MMA. Yeah, it was, it was MMA for sure. It, no? it yeah. wasn't a big thing. It is not a, still a big thing in Spain, and I am right. a huge fan. And I remember right. that I had like right. friends right. in common. There are friends uh, like fans right. of MMA in Berlin and Germany and outside from Spain. And here you were the first one that I could talk to about MMA. And I remember right. that was like a I click. Yeah, yeah, I also remember be like, oh, he actually he's like excited for a fight tomorrow or something there's because i think it was like a you guys saturday like made plans to like watch it together the next day you, yeah because like i remember this. you yeah. were like oh there's a fight tonight and us again against whatever and i'm like you like i man? yeah i mean i don't follow it anymore really but I'm like yeah I've, I've been following it have you watched any no i honestly it's a lot. didn't know what it was it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> for someone yeah it. yeah if okay. you if you have if you've never watched like fighting it's it's a lot it's i don't a lot enjoy watch. watch fighting yeah it's, it's watching a lot. are you surprised that we are still friends I'm not surprised. I love it. I mean, I remember like pretty quickly, Anna and Nati were like, yeah, they're like, they're having like their own bromance now. It's yeah. great. Like very, very quickly. Captured my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. No, but I love it. I said like, I love when my friends are friends. I love like bringing people together and then I get to hang out with everyone at the same yeah, time. Yeah, we hung out the next day. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. It's so cute. I was like, yo, like, you want to go watch a football game? I'm like, no. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, do you want to come anyways and hang out? I'm like, okay. <laughs> It was literally nice. like, guys you like are football? So I'm funny. like, nah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also want to hang out with you. So, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But also, you were such a vital part of this podcast because we met because of you. But also, like, the first day that we started talking 
business that it was in business was also when uh, you invited us to a cocktail bar that's around here do you remember oh, yeah. yes. we were there and then oh there was God. just yes, yeah the shaker exactly and dane and i were were there just talking about like that's when you guys were talking about of course. like the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were talking like yo let's do the podcast we knew we wanted to do it yeah but it's like how are we going to name it what is it going to be about how long is it going to be and it was just all mm-hmm. because of you again yeah yeah and, and then here you are one year later <laughs> well one year later yeah, one year crazy. happy anniversary guys thank you, thank thank you. you. we, should, we should do something like recording like an episode yeah, exactly. no <laughs> but just something for us stop <laughs> <laughs> just, he wants just something to have an anniversary for us. celebration Why let's, like... let's go to another let's find someone that's getting divorced and have a divorce party of course and then we can like rekindle yeah and do another yeah. podcast yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. In German yeah. Does not that oh, yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> so just to close things up uh, we've been doing this for a year uh, a lot of things ha- has happened to us. We did a live show. Yeah. We were invited to uh, an amazing international film festival. So we cool. walked the red carpet in that film festival. Yeah, exactly. Thank you guys, badasses. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. Someone a little bit more than the other got yeah. to say. I strolled the red yeah, carpet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he I walked it. I was just like, I hovered around <laughs> the red carpet. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I creepily walked. Yeah. We created a, a product. We have an audience. It's been a, a crazy year for us. Mm-hmm. How has this year been for you? It's been a, it's been quite a year for me too. I imagine. Yeah. It's been quite a year, but every day. Highlights. What's highlights? Every day gets better and better. It's been musically incredibly busy. Um, I I started a podcast this year. I'm actually also almost at my one year anniversary. Oh, wow. January 3rd. Yeah. Wow. It's almost here. Very close. Oh, man, you started? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it's, things are going really well. You know, I think everything that happens in life always, for me in my life has always happened for a reason and for the better and I'm excited to see where life takes me. But I'm excited that you guys are celebrating your one year anniversary. (laughs) With you, of course. (laughs) Wouldn't be any other other way. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Uh, for having me, guys. Yeah, and thank you for listening to this episode. First and last episode in English. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Last episode. Por favor, síguenos en Spotify, que es gratis y nos ayuda un montón. Tenemos Instagram, Twitter y TikTok y todo lo que subimos es súper, súper gracioso. Gracias.